What's up guys? So I'm going to do a quick review on a smart tech backpack that I just got from Amazon. I've been wanting something for my computer to travel and just to take around. Uh, I got kind of bored of the old and just the plain carrying bags. And today I got this bag from Amazon that uh, was pretty well shipped. This is actually how they were it was sent and they actually sent me this, uh, this little bag. You know that you can use for anything else it's uh from bow pie that's the company of this small tech backpack and let's check it out it's not the cyber truck backpack if that's what you thought so on amazon actually they have a different kind of backpack that's um around 200 dollars, which i didn't want to spend too much so i was looking around and found one that had pretty good reviews and this one's it. Now, uh, actually, this one is ninety dollars. Um, it's actually originally one twenty-three, but it was on sale, so I was like, "Hey, why not?" Uh, let's look at the exteriors. Again, if you are in the market to buying a backpack for your laptop or your technology, and you want to just stand out and look different, uh, I think this one definitely stands out, and it kind of does look like the Cyber Truck. Those Tesla enthusiasts that can see it, I can kind of see it, right? So. Let's look at the measurements uh, from here. This is exactly at 18 uh, inches, and then the width is at 12. 12, so 18 by 12. So you can kind of see if this is something that you might use. Uh, let's look at the outside. There's a hard shell. It doesn't scratch, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you, you don't have to deal with that um their exterior itself it is a smart backpack so you do have um ports here usb and usb c to charge up your laptop and tablets and all that uh, stuff on the go so that's pretty cool um for this you will need a charging port um a portable charger uh located inside so it doesn't come with it so that's something separate so keep that in mind uh keep you looking at the outside you do have a lock here which is pretty cool to lock this up i'll go over that in a second and then looking at the back of it you do have your straps two straps they seem pretty pretty durable for now right uh, hopefully it doesn't break um and then you do have here in case you are traveling and you just want to post this up with your carry-on it does uh fit pretty well and then you do also have a secret um component here little to put like uh maybe a cell phone uh passport or important documentations that you don't want nobody to see here so pretty pretty hidden there um the back does have good support here um oh and one cool thing about this one is that if you have an id or a card or something that you want to slide here you can just slide that right in here um and just put stuff here right so that's pretty good you can't fit a pen i think oh you can uh you can kind of can so if you want to hold something here it does have an extra little slot there to put that there um all right so let's go over the the locking right here so pretty much pretty self-explanatory here the, um, all the instructions are on amazon this particular one doesn't come with uh, handwritten instructions but on amazon you'll be able to find um uh, its instructions as well or in this video in case you want to buy similar bags to this because I'm sure they're all pretty much the same so to lock this portion right before we go inside um, you see you see you have two different ports here that you would pretty much um, put together here and then the code whatever the code is it's locked you're not able to get it now you're probably wondering well if I'm going to TSA and I'm going to put this through, they might want to get inside just to check because TSA does that, I guess, sometimes, maybe all the times. Um, there's a TSA approved uh, key that uh, TSA members have, so they can just easily access that, and this comes up apart, and they'll be able to just see inside just to check for protocol and all that stuff, and be able to put it back without breaking the actual bag. Um, and then you would just simply put the code and then pops right out. So that's pretty easy. Now let's look at the inside. Oh, actually, before we go inside, 
let's check out the width without it being expandable because this bag does expand. So it is exactly about about four inches width without expanding it. And then you have zippers to expand it. All right, so expands it by a little, not much. Let's see how much more you'll get. Now it's at about five five inches expanded so not much room but it's still something in case you want to add a little bit more documents or put two or three laptops in now let's get to the inside so when i got this lap, uh, laptop case the only thing i kind of didn't like is the fact that with this one uh this is stitched up so i've seen other ones that they're buttoned up and you can just release and then you're able to completely open it all the way um this one does not um again you'll have to see if this one will work for you or not if you need that to open up but um it doesn't really matter to me i'm not using this as something i'm going to use put a bunch of stuff inside it's really just my laptop and cables and all that but uh you do have a zipper in here to put like again papers cables charging cords all that um as you can see here, you can put some documents, some other more accessories that you have. And on this side, you have a mesh see-through tube on each side. Another one here. And then another where you can put your laptop. I do have a 14.5 inch MacBook. So that one, as you can see, fits pretty well. And... I still have room so if you have a larger one up to a 17.5 inch laptop would fit perfectly here and you have straps to hold it down as well so it's not moving around and you can also put another one in the front pocket i think let's see yeah so you can have potentially two laptops securely and you can put another one most likely but it won't be as secure as these two um, so one thing i also noticed is this one does not have somewhere to kind of hold your drink on the side so think of that if you're in the market to buying a backpack for your laptop and all or to travel this one does not have something like that as again if you have accessories such as my stabilizer i could just put in here little stuff like that but for water purposes there's nothing to really hold it on the outside like a typical backpack would um you do have your charging cables here that you have to connect to a um portable charger so it can actually charge your equipment on the outside um, another thing I noticed is maybe some other backpacks did have a separate compartment where you could just slide the portable charger in and it stays snug without moving around but this one doesn't seem to have that so another consideration with this backpack is to keep that in mind if you don't mind it uh, you could probably put it in here and it stays here but it would have been nice if they just created a separate compartment here just to keep these two available. But that's something to keep in mind. Um, let's, let's go ahead and close it up. Let's see how it looks on the outside. Well, this particular backpack, they only had this color. I know other companies have uh, just an all-black version and uh, the metallic um Great for this one, which I, I just personally like. Um, let's see. All right, so this one fits pretty pretty snug. I think it looks different than your typical backpack. And it just looks pretty sleek, looks pretty modern. So if you're looking for a backpack to purchase, um, I would try this one. You know. Let me know what you think. You, would you pass on it? Would you get it? Or maybe you would just try a, your traditional backpack, right? But um, hopefully this helped.
in this review, make you have an informed decision on what kind of smart tech backpack you'd like to have. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, comment below, like this video. I'll be doing more reviews. Thank you for watching and may the force be with you.